you guys doing this? If you guys have a question for Coach Roberts, just please raise your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. Good? <laughs> Good? You want me to give an opening? Or? Jason? Uh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to go far away? Yeah, let's how have you seen the, the response since the spring and I, I guess adding a lot of new faces too? How, how have the first few days been in trying to get everybody up to speed? Yeah, um, I think it's been a, a drastic improvement from the spring just because uh, you know, guys did a good job this summer uh, uh, studying and learning, a much better job of knowing what to do and having ideas of their assignments coming in. So we're a lot further along than we were by the last of spring. Um, you know, we, still got, we still got ways to go. We got, we got to continue to make those strides, but uh, right, so far it's been a pleasant surprise, really, with the work ethic and things the way we've done and everything we've emphasized, they've, they've, they've answered, so. Good front right, Coach. You guys added a couple of edge rushers, Jalen specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to ask about him. Just a guy who's not necessarily like traditional pass rusher size, but has definitely done it at a high level. Just what does he bring to the table for y'all? Yeah, he's a, he's a special talent, suppose, with that, especially when it comes time to, to pin it back and go rush. Now, we haven't done any real third down stuff, so everything he's done up right now has really been sitting on our first, second down, so he hasn't really had opportunities to do those. But he's been very productive every practice, you know, uh, every practice, really, when he gets opportunity to rush the quarterback. Uh, did some things today, and he's, he's, just got, a, he's got a good, uh, uh, you know, his physical tool set's pretty, pretty amazing. You know, he's a very talented individual. Um, you know, we just got to get him the right track and make sure I'm putting him in the right spots. Uh, what have you seen on the linebackers uh, so far uh, in camp? Yep. Uh, linebacker core, again, I, well, I think we, we kind of got a, a pretty good competition there. I don't know how it's going to pan out, you know. Uh, uh, we just got our second day of pads in, so we're going to see how that goes. But we got about six of them that are competing. And I kind of almost see it right now. Nobody's really stepped up and pulled away from the pack. Um, so the, the emphasis there we kind of gave to them is that one is they've got to be productive and consistent on every down. That's the heartbeat of any defense, you know. Uh, we, what we, we, I kind of emphasized with them last night about being, doing a much better job of communicating. They all did that. That's great. Um, you know, but I think, uh, you know, the things right there that we've got to do as a whole is make sure our communication is good, putting the rest of the other 11, you know, at ease, be in alignment, assignment, those type of things. And then, you know, you really want to see those guys, you know, elevate. This is a linebacker-driven defense. You know, there's going to give them a lot of situations. They're one-on-ones. They have they're scraped to, the, they're the, they're going to be the free hitter at the point of attack, and they've got to answer the bell and be productive. Second round in the middle. Coach, with so many new faces beyond just the, like all the transfers, but compared to the spring, that there's there's 20 new players that that form here. How has it been like installing your defense with them and? Then Yeah, well, most of them were here all summer, which gave me a huge jump start on the mental part. You know, the whole summer focus was uh, really knowing what to do, you know, in the defense, knowing my, you know, and then we kind of focused, and obviously in the fall, how, and then situations that we had to make adjustments to. But uh, uh, I think uh, that part, uh, I think that those guys did a good job, you know. I think they're all, the guys have all blended in. We got some freshmen, obviously, heads are spinning. It's already part of fall camp. Their heads are spinning. There's a lot at them. Uh, the tempo. Probably, you know, of practice is a head spinner. Uh, for a lot of the high school kid comes out and, and it's not like anything they've seen. So uh, the, the young guys are making, you know, obviously it's a huge adjustment. We're gonna really, we're probably not gonna be able to judge it until it's day seven, eight, nine. So you know, when things slow down a little bit and they get it clicking. Here we go, Ryan. Uh, Ron, you've been at this a good while. Because uh, it's the hair, is that what you're saying? <laughs> 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 But how, how much of a challenge has it been over those years to adapt as the game has changed on both sides of the ball, really? Yeah, yeah, it has. Um, you know, I, uh, I love that part. I mean, I love football, you know, so uh, I love studying and seeing what's new and what the trends are. And it has changed so much that you, if you're not it, – it, that's the way this game is, I mean. So if you're not up on the latest things and what to do, what's offense trying to do to attack you, and how you're going to adjust to it and handle it, um, um, you know you can fall behind real quick. Um, I love that part of it, and I think our kids are really enjoying it and, and figuring out. You know, what we really want to do is we want to raise our football IQ as a defense, 
and not just we talked about being a four dimensional player about knowing my job, knowing everybody in my room's job, but then, you know, knowing what the offense is trying to do and how they're trying to attack us. And uh, you know, I think uh, those things uh, as we develop the IQ defensively, things will slow down for a lot of them because here kids really progress. Ron, where's the things you guys are looking for in the in the first scrimmage on, on Saturday? What, what sort of test does that provide you? Yeah, the, 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 the first thing was, was play, there's two basic things. Uh, we, we we talked about the goal coming in the springs. Hey, we got to eliminate unforced errors, pre-snap errors. Like, can I get lined up right? Do I know where my eyes are supposed to be? You know, do I know where my key is? You know, those basic things, right? And then the second one is the tempo of the game. You know, biggest thing we went a big emphasis today was, you know, is playing fast, figuring out how fast you can play, you know, playing at a different speed to this game. And uh, and that uh, that takes time to develop. It really does, you know. Um, so I thought our kids did a good job answering that, you know, and that will be the emphasis the next four days. Eliminate the pre-snap penalties. If you ain't in the right spots, you can't get lined up, hey, we got problems. You know, that can eliminate a lot of mistakes on defense just because people can't adjust the formations properly. The kids can't be precise on their alignments. And then the other thing is just the speed we play the game at. That's going to be the big, big goal going through this spring, or through the fall camp. Question right behind him. The other day we saw Calvary came for a little bit at defensive end. How capable is he to move around that defensive front for you guys? Yeah, well, we, we uh, again, he played Jack most of the spring. Uh, a lot of our four down stuff, it's the same thing. So he was doing it half the day of time. So uh, we moved him to end. He's, you know, he's 290 pounds, which, you know, by t summertime. So he's kind of, uh, he's filled that spot. Uh, he's in there right now fighting for the job, you know. Um, I don't know how it's going to pan out for the next, you know, couple weeks, but uh, he's going to be an impact player for us this season. Front left. Me. I love how Brian Matthews here. Um, what have you seen out of Bobby James and Travis as your go defensive lineman? And where do you see him fit in? And do you think he helped you guys out this fall? Yeah, he, he, he is a special talent on tools. You know, he has all the talent and stuff. Uh, he was not here with us this summer, so he's a little far behind. Uh, so we're trying to play catch up with him on a mental standpoint, what's going on and what he has to do. Um, he will impact and he'll be a big part because he's a talented individual. Um, so he's got to play himself into shape. He wasn't here for the summer conditioning, weightlifting, all that kind of stuff. Uh, probably a little bit out of shape, a little behind mentally right now. So we haven't really seen what he's capable of doing. Right, excellent. Ron, uh, Ron Stoltz, uh, what have you seen leadership-wise from Deontay and Nehemiah in the secondary? Yeah, um, both of them, well, there's about six, seven guys that we kind of lead on that, that they are, uh, you know, he's, he's the, the leadership uh, right now is probably more so from how they conduct their business. Uh, we would like it to step into more so how I can lead the individuals on this football team to become better. You know, I think we need to take some strides forward on that, you know, if I'm, being being blunt about it, you know, we got to take strides forward. So the idea of leadership is how can I help others around me, you know, be the best they can be. You know, how can I lead someplace they can't go by themselves? And uh, so they're doing a lot of things of being the, you know, the, the 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 player on and off the field that we want them to be. I needed to pull other people with them. Second round in the middle. It's following up on that. I, I we saw in practice last week. There's it seemed at least like some freshmen were shadowing um, some, of, some of the more better players in, that, in the secondary, especially. So has that been something you've been doing to try to talk about kind of the freshmen's head spinning earlier? Yeah. Has, has that helped them kind of get their feet under them? Yeah, we want them to get as many reps as possible. A lot of times that's is, so anytime we get in those situations, we can do it. We're trying to get them behind a, a veteran so they can see the alignment, the adjustments. And what, and what should they sound like? What kind of communication should they be making on the field? How can they talk to each other? You know, that, those things will help, hopefully help bring them on a lot faster. Time for a couple more here on the front. We've seen a couple times, we saw some in the spring when y'all have Jason and Justin both on the field at the same time, mm -hmm. down the middle. So what does that do for a defense to have two guys like that big? To be, be on the field right next to each other. Yeah, I mean, obviously you know, they're both really good. They're both really good players, and you know, uh, you know, you're gonna need that in this conference. You know, that's what it is. It's a it's a man's conference. You know, especially up front. You know, and that, the, the the D line, O line, D line, those guys up front kind of set the tempo of the ball game. They're gonna control it for you. You know, skilled guys can make big plays, but they can you're gonna win the game up front. Uh, so the more of those guys we got playing that category, that can play big, play physical, control line of scrimmage, we're gonna be better shape. Ron, I remember in the spring you said you wanted about you know, 25 guys that you really felt like could contribute at any given 
moment within the defense. Where do you feel like you guys are at right now, and kind of what's the progression of, of getting guys you think can contribute to the team? Yeah. Well, as a, if you st today, as opposed to where I'm going to say two weeks or three weeks, it should be probably drastically different. But right now, I would say you know, we're probably at the 15, 16 mark. There's seven, eight guys. They, they don't. They got to figure out the tempo. You got to play the game with the way you're supposed to communicate, the consistency to do my job, and those type of things. So we got we got a ways to go, but we have the time to do it. So you know, as long as we make the, we make progress like I thought we did today, and we continue to do that, then. Uh, I don't know if it's game one, but hopefully maybe it's by game two, three, four, somewhere in there we'll get that we'll get to that mark. We got guys that can play the game, and we're not losing uh, uh, anything. Drop off, you know, it creates a lot of depth on the defense. Got two more, Jason, and then Brian. Ron, um, you talked to the linebackers, the, the depth there. Obviously, you've added some pieces, but what, what have you seen out of some holdover guys that we didn't see much of last year? Eugene Desante and, and Robert Woodyard. How have those guys progressed? I really sense the spring too. Yeah, I think uh, Eugene has made some huge strides, uh, uh, like the things we're talking about. He, he's a physical talent, runs well, plays hard, plays with excitement, emotions, he's all that kind of stuff you're looking for. Uh, we're just trying to really, uh, through the summer, I thought he did a good job, though, of, of understanding the defense more, and that's put him in a spot. That right now, he, he's in a spot to go compete for a job, a starting job. Um, you know, Robert, same thing, you know, again with him, he's it's still, he's young. And he's still trying to figure this thing out, you know. He he's got to. I think the next ten days will be big for him. You know, that's what I say. If you want to get in the hunt, it's about consistency on a daily basis. You know. Right. Uh, yes, Ron. Um, I remember the spring. Uh, Kai and Lee and Killer Falcon guys who stood out early as far as freshmen go. Any of the new freshmen caught your eye so far through the first three or four practices? Uh, a lot of them, really. I mean, I think there's a. Uh, I think we have a great talent, especially I think the skill positions, the, the DB positions. I think uh, we've got a really talented group. So I would say all of them has flashed at times, just not on a consistent basis. But I think that's coming. Hopefully we'll see it maybe, maybe, maybe Saturday. All right, thank you, guys.